That's cute. Hello, foodie. Hello there. Okay, I'm super excited. I just got my Dash mini waffle maker and my Target carries these in store. They're only $9.99. But since I already had a Target order going in, I waited to get the color that I want because it's super cute. They have so many colors online. Um, red is the only one that was carried in my store. I'm gonna give you a live unboxing and show you the recipes included and we'll do some demonstrations. Okay, so asking me to go leave a review. Talks about their warranty. Um, they're on Instagram and I unprocess your food. It has 350 watts, ready, set, cook. You just plug it in and when the blue light turns on, you're ready. Family fun. That's to be determined. Super cute. It's about the size of like a breakfast sandwich maker, which I have. I'm a giant um, kitchen gadget person. I love kitchen gadgets. So there's that giant blue light they say it lights up when it's ready. And there's a little cute little mini waffle maker. And it has this dash booklet so i will see what's in here it says there's recipes inside a little instruction manual safety it, there's the cover cover handle non-slip feet and the indicator light with this being the cooking surface pretty basic so there are instructions. Step one, place the appliance on a stable and dry surface. You wanna plug into a power outlet. When photo A, that illuminates on the blue light, that signals that it's heating up. So you do use spray cooking oil on the surfaces with a small amount of cooking spray. And then you pour your batter directly onto the cooking surface and close the cover. Once the waffle is cooked to your preference, carefully remove it. You, from the cooking surface with a heat resistant nylon wood or silicone cooking utensil. Do not use metal. When you have finished cooking, unplug your mini waffle maker and allow for it to cool before you clean and put it away. To clean it, you unplug it, allow it to cool, use a damp soapy cloth to wipe it down, thoroughly dry it before storing. If there is burned on food, pour a little cooking, pour a little oil on it and let it cool let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then scrub it lightly with a sponge or soft bristle. Then rinse it clean. Never use an abrasive cleaning agent. Um, there's some troubleshooting indicators on here. And then there is a recipe guide. So classic waffles, the pizza chaffle. You guys know this is what I'm about. I so badly wanna make chaffles. Egg, cauliflower, mozzarella, oregano, garlic powder, parmesan, pizza sauce, and mozzarella. Mm-mm-mm. Mayo -mm. waffles. Interesting. Banana bread waffles. We might have to make those. Chocolate taco waffles. I think this would be super fun to serve my kids as a dessert. So you use cocoa, make it chocolate, and serve it with ice cream. And here's a few more and also a grilled cheese. So I have just plugged this in. I have my indicator light on. It's pretty sunny, but there you can see it. And it's heating up. Once it reaches optimal cooling temperature, I'm gonna wait for the light to turn off, and then we'll get started. For my test, I'm just using the um, package version waffle full recipe. I'm using a half recipe to make my kids some morning waffles. They're very excited, by the way. Okay, the light just turned off, and I'm going to get started with steps C and D, or 3 and 4, steps 3 and 4. So I'm going to lightly spray. That was a little more than lightly, probably. Have my batter ready here. I just wait for it to be cooked to my preference. Ooh, two minutes in, and look at that crust. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, who wants the first waffle? Oh my gosh. Look how cute.
first waffle ever. Are you a happy girl? Mm. Enjoy. And when you're eight, this is how you tap it. All right, so this is our first morning using the mini waffle maker, and I want to see, do my kids give it thumbs up or thumbs down? Kel? Okay, perfect. I definitely think we'll be using this more in the future, and I give it thumbs up as well. Definitely worth your $10 buy. Super easy to use. I know mm. how it tastes is going to depend on the recipe, but it makes very great textured waffles. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.